Hi, welcome back. Last week I painted another butterfly, well, the same butterfly in a different photograph, but I thought it looked a little bit harsh or crunchy or something. I can't think of any words that will make sense, but those are the ones that I thought of to describe it. So when I made this butterfly, it turned out with smoother wings and more realistic fuzz on its back, so I was really happy with that. I'm pretty sad now that orange butterfly and flower season is over. It was almost like it was overnight that all that stuff went away. But it's been replaced by persimmons, which tastes like pudding, and mecons, which I think are the same as what we called dancy tangerines or clementines in America. They're teeny tiny little citrus, really easy to peel, super sweet, not very many seeds. And there's an entire like an art form to peeling them. You can go watch YouTube videos of people peeling mikans. If you want to Google it, it's M-I-K-A-N. And there are people who can peel it in one piece and when you lay it out flat it becomes like a pegasus or a unicorn or a garden scene or something. It's pretty amazing. I highly recommend it. And another orange thing that's come into season now is my sweaters. I really usually hate orange. I don't think it goes well with my skin tone, but apparently every fall I must get kind of bold about it because it's Halloween or something and buy a sweater because I keep finding when I get my winter clothes out of storage that I have orange sweaters, like they're growing in number. So I'll be wearing those. I guess what we're gonna be missing in orange flowers and butterflies is gonna be made up for by the beautiful autumn colors of all the trees changing. The maple trees here have like the teeny tiniest little leaves. I think there's something like three or four centimeters in diameter instead of the big maple leaves like we have back home. Last year, we went to climb Mount Takao, Takao-san, and we accidentally went on the very busiest day of the year. So what usually should be like a 90 minute hike up and down took us four hours because I think there were something like two or 300,000 people climbing the mountain that day just because they wanted to go see the fall colors. Um, so hopefully I can plan it a little better this year and either go to that mountain early or maybe find another place to go check out. Oh, and before I go, I wanted to ask, I recorded this in 4K instead of 30 FPS, so it's a lot higher quality, but it took my computer a million years to process it, so I wonder if you can tell the difference between this video and the last one with the other butterfly. Um, let me know what you think, because I'll probably have to buy a new computer if I want to keep shooting in 4K. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you come back soon. Thanks.